I'm Sandy Charles, your Fan Nation host with an injury update to college football. I'm now joined by Max Torres. He's a publisher for Ducks Digest. Max, injury to one of the top players, if not the top player in college football right now, Kayvon Thibodeau, defensive end for the Ducks. What's the latest on his injury? Yeah, we, we talked with head coach Mario Cristobal following the, the 31-24 win over Fresno State today. And Cristobal updated reporters saying that uh, Thibodeau got rolled up on. Um, beyond that, you know, it's looking like a sprain. He didn't specify if it was a foot or an ankle sprain. But when I was at the press box in Odson, I had my binoculars out and I was able to see the training staff working on that, that left foot slash ankle area. Um, so we didn't get more specifics than that as far as what kind of a sprain it was, but Cristobal continued saying that this, the team is optimistic that it's nothing too serious. Um, as far as we know right now, the, the x-rays came back negative. So the staff's going to take some time to uh, assess that and then they'll, uh, they'll get that update out to us. If he can't come back, who is next in line to step up on the defensive line for him? Certainly would be a, a big hole for the Oregon defense to fill, especially with that, that trip coming up to Columbus next week. A couple of names to know here when we're thinking about filling in for KT. You have uh, Braden Swinson. He's a guy who, who's been developing really well in fall camp. Uh, all the staff has, has raved about him uh, and his development. And then you also have Adrian Jackson, who's a, a much more experienced guy for Oregon. He's looked really good as well. So I think those are some of the biggest names to, to monitor here. Um, also have Mace Funa, um, who was also uh, banged up a little bit today and was kind of uh, limited during that game. How big of a hole is this to fill? Like you mentioned, Buckeyes are next. How big of a hole is this? You, I mean, you can't over You can't. Uh, it's impossible to overstate how big of a hole this would be. You're talking about the best player on Oregon's team, certainly the best player on that defense. When you're going up against a team like Ohio State that is just deep across the board, if they want to have any shot at this game, they have to get pressure on CJ Stroud and it would be a huge hit for the defense if KT wasn't available uh, and you have to turn to some of these other guys. Thanks so much, Max. As always, we will keep you posted on this injury update. Again, that's Max Torres, Ducks Digest, and I'm Sandy Charles, Fan Nation host.